Hi there, my name's Bert Yule and I'm the editor of Pro Detailer magazine and I just wanted to do a quick run through of issue seven, which is our latest issue released at uh, Waxstock in July and we haven't yet done a video through it. So what I was gonna do is show you my favorite personal articles with a view to getting some feedback from you guys as to which ones you enjoyed and as we're currently planning issue eight, which will come out at Christmas 2018, um, I'm kind of gives us an idea of really what to put in there. So as ever with these mags, we started with the events and the events section this time was much more detailing centric. So we were looking at events that involve detailers, be it training days, experience days, that sort of thing. Um, so in that category, the one that I felt was the kind of the most exciting was the Rupes Day at the iBox, which carried out on the 16th of April. And Rupes essentially said, right, there's a training day. We're going to bring our international training team, including Jason Rose and various other sort of celebrities of the Rupes detailing environment, and um, spend a day doing some proper theory, some proper training, uh, and lots of hands-on stuff with all their latest kit, uh, which included, you know, rotaries, as well as the famous long throw DAs, as well as quite a lot of sanding work as well. And it was great. We had 70-odd people turn up, um, and we had the whole team from the UK, so David and Matt and that sort of thing, um, as well as the guys over from the USA, from Norway, from Italy. Um, and it was a really, really fun day. So um, I thought that was my favorite. If you enjoyed reading about it, we did a big double page spread, uh, let me know. Then we move into the new products section. And again, I've tried to put a bit more detail on the new products this time around. It was, uh, and it always has been, more of a uh, kind of a, a press release style in that it's not an actual review. It's just saying, look, here's a new product. This is uh, what it claims to do. This is why it claims to be different. This is how much it costs, and this is where you can get it. Um, so it's a kind of information panel, if you like. Um, now, one of those products I did actually, well, I played with quite a few of them, but one that I played with in particular uh, was the Meguiar's all-wheel cleaner, because we spent the day at Meguiar's, as you can tell from the front cover. And this is a wheel cleaner with fallout remover. And it is really nice and easy to use. It's available, I think, in 700 and something milliliters. Um, it's not the cheapest around, but it is really, really interesting. It cleans wheels with both a detergent element and an iron removing element. Um, and what I really liked about it is it didn't smell. It did the iron removing without the really awful smell that iron removers are, are known for. Um, so as I say, we've got lots of products in there uh, from companies big and small. So it's well worth a read just to keep up to date. In terms of the guide section, we had the biggest guide section we've had in any issue, uh, bar issue one, which was kind of one guide section, um, which unfortunately you can't get anymore yet, um, but we may do a digital edition, so watch this space. Anyhow, um, this was actually written by features editor Ian Seeley, and he is a full-time detailer, and he was explaining how he was doing this old Lancia, and it was, a, it was a classic, a lovely classic Lancia, and he was really struggling with DA to make any progress on the paint. And so he just picked up a flex rotary that he had hanging around um, and had a go at it. And his eyes were sort of reopened to the magic of using rotary like they did in the olden days. And um, I think he was using a range of new range of compounds from Scholl called Ecofix, uh, which has got the home user in mind, I believe, um, and works with both rotary and DA, but he was using a rotary with great effect. And it's, a, it's kind of almost a love story, how he falls back in, in love with his, his rotary machines. Then we get on to a very popular article from the issue six, which was the AM Details article. So ask Alan anything. It's a kind of agony aunt for those into polishing their cars. And this time as a result of all the positive feedback from the last video like this I did, uh, we've doubled his size uh, to two pages. Um, and he answers six questions, and those who had their questions featured also win a prize, and we've sent out most of them, but if your question is featured and you haven't got your prize yet, please get in touch and we will sort it for you. Um, so again, we've asked all sorts of interesting things there, and Alan has got the sort of pizzazz um, and the kind of real world down-to-earth approach, which is dead useful for both amateurs and professionals. Then we move on to our trader talk section, which is geared for those admittedly running a, a business in the detailing world, uh, but it can also apply to really anybody in small business, particularly small automotive business. Anyway, this focuses on Barry Polding, who uh, runs Top Car Detailing up in Warrington, St. Helens area up in the Northwest. And he um, met kind of online, so to speak, um, Todd Cooperider from Esoteric Detailing, which is in Columbus, Ohio, so quite a long way away, uh, and he took the kind of unprecedented step of flying over to America to spend nearly a week uh, doing both a kind of formal esoteric uh, detailing course 
and to spend some time cutting his teeth and, and learning all the skills. And Barry's an experienced detailer himself, so he was sort of topping up those skills and, and cross-fertilising of ideas and methodologies, which I liked. Um, and he came into contact, bear in mind this was a year or two ago that he did it, with Kamikaze Coatings, um, which led to him training up it for those in the UK as well. And it was just a sort of an, a nice article explaining how you can go above and beyond to improve your skill set and professionalism. Um, then we get on to what was quite a lot of fun, uh, which was the Euro Tour. So we took our project car Betty um, down to eventually down to Stuttgart and Flex uh, via Holland and Dino, a, a Dutch detailer of some repute and who's got a great sense of humour. And we've filmed it all in the Car Care Adventure series on YouTube, which sort of partners the magazine. So it's well worth having a look there when we release the Euro special, which is not that far away. Um, but this is the kind of the written down version. So we talk to Dino about the industry. Uh, we then go to Nanalex and talk to Florian Kessler and we do a interview and a factory walk around with him. And again, it's all documented in here. And then finally, we ended up with Flex, uh, in Flex, uh, not in Flex, in Stuttgart at Flex. And um, we spent a long time chatting about the history of their machines and stuff like that and we learnt an awful lot. Um, they've been going around for decades and decades although they've only relatively recently become flex but we learnt an awful lot about that. Um, we also try to do kind of, I wouldn't call them necessarily celebrity interviews, but interviews, industry interviews that are interesting. So uh, we had Larry Casilla last issue and before that we had Todd Cooperrider. Well in this issue we have Chris West who is um, a, a singularity in the detailing world. He's, he's a real character. He is Mr. Solution Finish. He developed it all himself uh, and you can see, follow his feed on Facebook and stuff like that. He's, he's, he's very interesting and entertaining to watch and basically he gave us his story on Solution Finish, on, on how he developed it and all the challenges he's faced. Um, and again, it's written in a very honest style and I really enjoyed sort of working with him on that. Um, and the second interview did was with Hideki Tanaka, who I bet you, you haven't heard of, but if I said Fuso to you, I think you would have heard that. And that's because he runs Soft 99, he's a managing director. And I didn't know much about For Sale Soft 99, but on researching for this, this interview, so I didn't just appear a complete idiot when asking him questions, well, not too much of a complete idiot, uh, it turns out they've been going since, I think, the 60s. They're worth 30-something million pounds. It's a massive operation. Um, and again, he's got some interesting insights um, you know, from his opinion back in Japan. And to make that interview, a uh, big thanks to Jackie at Soft 99 in the UK. And he uh, basically translated my questions to Japanese, sent it to Japan, where it was answered in Japanese. He got the answers back, translated them back into English, and they came to me, and then we worked it out from there. So uh, a lot of effort went into producing that page. Then we get to the mega test. And as you know, uh, we finished the paste wax mega test eventually uh, back in issue six. So we've got something new and we did leather products. So we took uh, a selection of about nine leather products, some were from leather specialists. So leather repair company, furniture clinic, that sort of thing. Uh, somewhere from more generic car care brands. So people who do washes and uh, shampoos and waxes as well as leather products. Um, so we chose Autoglim for that because it's nice and easy and accessible. Um, and also CarPro, which are interesting because they're uh, kind of a cutting edge technology company in terms of they specialize in coatings and they do a coating, so to speak, for leather products. So we want to see how that stood up to the test. Um, and another one like that is CSP Detailing System, who again work with universities uh, to develop sort of high technology products. And we pitched them against, strange enough, a supermarket product, wipes no less, uh, from I believe Tesco's, um, Lord Sheraton wipes, and see, you know, what's the difference? What, where are their strengths? Where are their weaknesses? We tested five different types of stain um, and stain resistance, so how well their protector product uh, made it uh, protected essentially against stains sinking into the leather, and how well their cleaners did at removing those stains both from unprotected leather and protected leather. And we even had a, uh, a denim rubbing, sort of what I call a bum on seat machine. It makes sense if you see the video, um, uh, to test for denim transfer. And so we have lots of fascinating results there. Uh, I will obviously leave you to read those in the magazine at your own leisure. Anyhow, issue seven, it's available now for delivery. We dispatch usually between three and four o'clock weekdays. So it tends to arrive in a couple of days of ordering. Um, and it's available on our website. Do also follow our uh, YouTube channel for the Car Care Adventures. We're on Facebook, which you're watching this on, so that's good. Um, and then everything is available on the website, including uh, most of the back issues. We are down to our last couple issue three. Um, so we've got quite a few of the back issues. Everything else is there, including also the Wax Stock Guide from this year. Uh, your 
doors won't come with the brown tape over the front of it, incidentally, I'm afraid. Um, but they're all there and there are various bundle deals as well, so you can save a penny. So anyhow, thank you very much for watching and do comment below with feedback of the articles that you enjoyed uh, or any articles that you would like to see in issue eight. Thank you.